Hello, you crazy people that follow uh, me on YouTube and that follow the NAM coverage. Now, uh, there's different ways of handling NAM. You can go do a vlog and film, you know, the whole experience as one, which is fine. You get one video. You can do a couple of videos of like, you know, the people that you work with and then hang out and drink coffee and have a gay old time. Or you can go completely insane and uh, try to do as much as possible in those four days. So for me, that's the case. I do 11 hour days. That's the dog running around that you're hearing. Um, and I try to get as much footage and as many videos as I can. That allows me to stretch them out over the whole year if they are done in a way that they're not time sensitive. And that allows me to have a video from Nam, a video from here, a video from Nam, a video from here, and fill the channel with seven videos usually a week, which is crazy. But that footage I get in those four days is crucial to the well-being of my channel and your enjoyment. So every year I try to go with the most efficient equipment possible. I talk to mic manufacturers, I go buy new cameras. I think every year for NAM I bought a new camera. Um, I've tried the Canon XF15, which had a big XLR block on it, but it doesn't flip the screen around. And then I went with an external screen. Nightmare because of all the batteries. Battery life, big thing. X, hello? Can you maybe go? You're going tip, 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 and you're licking the floor. Go. No, 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 no. Go, 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 go couch, go couch. That's not couch. Okay. <laughs> Battery life is very important. Um, how much do I get on an SD card? Because if you're constantly juggling batteries and you're constantly juggling, uh, juggling SD cards and, oh man, this one was full in the middle of the video, nightmare. Audio. Do you record audio on an external recorder? Yes, I could take it Zoom H6, which is trusty and dependable, and record on that with XLR, but that requires an extra piece of gear with extra batteries, extra SD card. Now, if you're doing five or six videos, that's fine. Um, they multiplied. <sighs> no! Go, everyone go, 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 go. So the H6 would require extra batteries, and um, that means you're handling your camera batteries, the H6 batteries, and who knows what other batteries. <sighs> Not so great. So I'm trying to have the most efficient setup with the longest battery life, the longest video on SD card, and uh, it's not carrying the batteries, which is a problem. It is buying the batteries, it is charging the batteries at night in the hotel. Now, if I have to charge six to eight batteries, that means I need a charger. The next dog's trying to get off the couch, by the way. Stay. Um, that means I need a charger that can handle five to six batteries, which they aren't. That means I need three to four chargers to charge things at night. Going to NAM and being as efficient as possible for me requires weeks and weeks and weeks of planning and making sure I take the right equipment because I have a suitcase and a carry-on. I can't take as much as I want. I, I wish I was, you know, Trey from Gear Gods or uh, Glenn or any of these guys that lived in LA where you just have your shit and you just put it in the car. I can't do this. I really need to plan. So I want to show you what my equipment was last year and uh, what I insanely bought this year to get you the NAM coverage. Because I think you should know what, not we YouTubers, what this insane YouTuber goes through. So I'm going to film the camera that's filming me right now um, because this is what I took to NAM uh, last year. And that's that's cool. Dave uh, Cheddar Kung Pao hung out with me and that's a great camera because it's everything automatic if you wanted to do this, but you can do individual settings. It has XLR, which is important. It does four tracks if you want to at the same time. Two XLR inputs and the mini mic stereo input, which means you can come with four audio tracks uh, in your videos. So yeah, great. I was never super happy about the footage that you're seeing right now. It's 4K and it's all great, but I'm not... It's not making me happy with the contrast and all that stuff. However, this is a camera that you can just give to someone like Leslie, who's completely clueless, and she's doing a great job. Stabilization, all that stuff. So, um, she looks happy that I'm filming her. So this is the Canon XF405. Um, 
inputs for XLR, you can see one, two, that's great. We have uh, a shotgun mount if you need that. You can totally detach this. Um, you have a manual ring for focus or whatever you want it to be. Uh, fixed lens and, you know, decent screen. It does a good job. Big ass battery right there. Um, and it does a great job. It's about 3000 maybe now 2500 bucks. Uh, two SD card slots right here. So you can do uh, relay recording, which is cool. So when one is full, it goes to the next. But I was just never... It, it's, a, it's a cool camera for like a B cam or something. But I was never extremely happy with the footage. So I was looking for um, something else. I was prepared to buy a film camera, which comes with a whole slew of other problems. Uh, namely, no auto anything... And, and all that stuff. I mean, it would have been completely insane to do this. So I went uh, for the next bigger thing, not the XF405, but the newer XF705, which is a camera that I, I researched, and there isn't tons of stuff about it, but I saw a, uh, a guy from Animal Planet saying, look, we're in the jungle, this thing has good battery life, and I can zoom in, bam, 350 millimeters, and I'm on what I'm trying to film, and it focuses immediately, and that is great. I need to be able to stand over here, hold a pedal, and my camera person is able to zoom in, and I have the pedal, and it's in focus. I need a run-and-gun camera that does the job. Camera person, talking about that, I have to have someone to man the camera, which means I am flying in Harry Holden. I'm taking him to NAMM with me, because otherwise Harry couldn't go. He's a good friend. He really knows cameras. And that way he can also make videos at NAMM. And I'm really looking forward to hanging out with him the whole week. We're going to have a blast. We're, share, we're having the same hotel. So, Harry, it's going to be a blast. Uh, actually, you're already with me because when that video comes out, we're already there. So this is what I bought. Now, the camera itself is one thing. Um, but many, many thoughts were in my head then. How, what do I put them on? So we, we talk about the tripod in a sec. Um... I thought, well, no, no let, let, let's go back. Come over here, let's see. It has dual SD card slots, which is cool, okay? Right now we got 512 gigabyte cards in there, and they don't have to be extremely fast. These are 95 megs a second. Um, but the camera only, which until recently used to be a drawback and still is a little bit, only records in 4K in H.265 or what is also called HVEC, or HVEC, uh, which is a super awesome compression for 4K. Very little loss, super small files. One of the drawbacks is, when I come home with those files, and I'm coming home with a lot of them, I will have to convert them, which means my computers will be running for a week straight, converting those videos into uh, something I can actually work with. And that's why I thought, well, what if I record it onto those? parallel, so I've got two versions of the same file, because you don't want to run around all day and then find out that your card is corrupted. Even if it is, I have a second copy on the other card. And then I thought, well, if I, if I get one of those, you know, monitors right here, then I can actually record onto hard drives. Let me show you. So I can actually record on external hard drives, and I bought three two terabyte hard drives to pop into here and record on the monitor as well. Benefit would be you have a clear picture, you have a big ass monitor to see. Um, but here's a couple of problems. I have the drives, not the problem. One of the big problems is battery. This lasts about an hour, hour and a half, maybe two. So I would need four of these. I need to take them, I need to charge them. And the taking them is a big problem because they're heavy. I have to have them in my in my carry-on. Uh, the bigger problem is the mounting of this monitor on this camera. You can see this is already turning, and it would kind of have to be like this. And then you can't move the camera around NAM. That's not going to happen. So I would have to pretty much take this off like this. You can see that it's already no fun. Every time. Someone carries this, 
go to, go to another booth and put it back together. Not gonna happen. It's just looking at 50 to 70 videos, which is what I wanna do, this is not gonna happen. So the weight of this as well, I, I bought a small rig cage for it. I, I was ready to do all of this, but I think I'm simply gonna have to be okay with the two SD cards and a smaller monitor for seeing what we're gonna do. So I'm only taking this, which means uh, we'll be able to take this off and then I carry the camera, Harry carries a tripod, something like this. Also, our friend Sophia is gonna join us from Vegas and she said she wants to help. So I'm gonna load her up with a tripod and just have a coffee while Harry and Sophia carry my shit. So the monitor on the camera itself, that's another thing that's great for YouTubers. It pops out, okay, which is fine. But even more so, it swivels in every direction. So you can literally swivel it around, but look from the side, Leslie. You can even go a little bit diagonal if you needed that. Or, check this out, you can actually push it out the other side. So this is actually a really, really cool setup. And, and then you push some button for it to flip around. Where's the button? Where's the button? Here we go. Oh, here. So you have to push the button for it to mirror. Um, okay, so this is something that really impressed me. We have a mount for this beautiful Sennheiser, and Sennheiser is gonna be a big topic here. Um, 416, which is really an, an amazing mic. Uh, that apparently many people even in, in Hollywood use. It's one of the standards. It's really, really great. Um, and when there isn't NAM audio, when there isn't insane noise, I would very likely use this, which means in the days before NAM and all this. But when NAM comes, I can't use a shotgun. It's just not gonna happen. Which means I'm gonna do this. At NAM, using a shotgun, completely, utterly pointless. Which already makes the setup smaller. So what we do, and look over here, here's the input for like a little mounty mic or a mini mic, or a mini mic input, 3.5, XLR1, and back here, I have XLR2. And I'm planning on utilizing all of it. Also has a full-size HDMI out, which is great. Um, it has SDI out in 4K. Um, it even has like a LAN connector. So what I'm planning on is uh, recording actually all those videos in 4K 50p. Why? Well, because A, for some reason, it doesn't add more data. I checked the difference. There is no difference. So why not record in 50p? And 50p doesn't look filmy and all cool but 50p looks very documentary and lifelike because of the you know higher frame rate. So why not do that? Wireless, which is what right now I'm talking into. It's a Sennheiser AVX going into this camera and Sennheiser was amazing. I already had two systems and they sent me another one. Um, I have a lot of the Sennheiser XSW systems and they're great between 200 and 400 bucks, depending what, what setup you buy. But Sennheiser themselves were like, look, at NAM, with all the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and whatever traffic, it's unrealistic that it's gonna work. I've used these at NAM. I know they work. I need a trusted system. If I come home and my audio is garbage, can't do it. So my plan is this. System number one, for handheld mic number one. Cool, huh? System number two, System number two, either for handheld mic number two, which has a different capsule, this is cardioid, and I've used this at Ibanez, you can actually put this in front of a cab and it sounds pretty damn good. So I could wirelessly record an amp if I wanted that. I just have to somehow smack that in front of the cab. Um, or I have to ask someone from a company to just hold it. But I'll be able with the second handheld to record an amp. Well, another way of doing this, and that's the crazy setup. I will try, I don't know if it works, but I will try to use this XSW. Otherwise I have to use a cable, but okay. So, 
So I would have this in my bag as well, plug this in, pair them, and hook up an amp to the Captor X. Load box and IR loader and it sounds phenomenal. And I would power this with the Palmer rechargeable power supply, the Batpack 8000. It's not super heavy. I'll probably um, Velcro this at the bottom. Plug this in. Where does it plug in? And, oh, I have to turn this on. Bam. You see, it actually works. So plug in an amp, and as long as these two don't have a lot of interference, I can actually record an amp with one of the best load box R loaders on the market right now, just coming out um, at NAM on the floor. So Two Note is gonna loan me one for NAM. Um, but wherever I don't have an amp and I just want to check out a guitar, this is so much crap to take. I don't know if it's gonna work out. We'll find out after NAM once you see the videos. Taking this, taking the Strymon Iridium. Taking the Strymon Iridium, um, going out of it, powering it with a ba uh, Batpack 8000, Palmer, thank you, it's actually really good. Um, and going with the AVX from Sennheiser into this uh, receiver, I have three of them, so each one will be paired with a different mic or this. And actually, Harry can be right there, and I can be over here, having this in a little satchel or pouch and just plugging in the guitar with a little coily cable into my pouch and it'll hopefully take these really, really cool model sounds wirelessly into the camera. Levels are the big, big problem. Uh, battery power, this thing should last all day. I tested it, it lasts a long, long time. I have extra batteries for the receivers and transmitters. That shouldn't be the big problem. Um, the biggest problem is leveling, is having a good level going into the camera, but that's not distorting and not noisy, and I'm still fiddling with that, and being able, here comes the next kicker, I need to hear myself when I'm playing the thing, the Strymon. Uh, yeah, but how do I do that without the cable mess? That's the biggest problem. Having Having all these cables, you know, guitar cable and headphone cable. Of course, I can take the Sennheiser, wherever it is, um, uh, in-ear monitors, which I have, and plug them in. Yeah, but I want to be cable-free, which is a, a really big task. So I'm trying this. I ordered this China product. <laughs> Animals in the middle. I ordered this China product, this L... Elegiant, Elegiant, which is a little Bluetooth transmitter, which I can plug into the headphone out of the Strymon. And then Sennheiser, because I asked, I said, hey, do you have some really good uh, Bluetooth headphones that you can send me? They sent these to me, and you need to check this out. This is so cool. Just like the Apple uh, AirPods, they charge in the case, and this is a really nice cloth kind of a case. And look at these puppies. These are really cool. So I should be able to have one in my ear. I mean, if I wanted to, you know, two, because they come in pairs. Uh, I was able to pair it after days of emails with the uh, Bluetooth transmitter. There is latency. So playing into it, yeah, there's a considerable amount of latency because of the Bluetooth transmitter into the headphones, but it should be okay to at least, you know, judge what I'm doing. And that way, I should be hearing what I'm doing wirelessly, going into it probably with the cable, and then going wirelessly into the camera. All that stuff really still needs to be field tested, but that's the idea of going to NAM to get you videos. You probably watch these and you think, oh, he just went there with the phone, and then there's like really good guitar sounds, or you know, it, it looks really nice and it zooms in like really far. You don't think about this stuff. I think about this stuff month ahead of time. And by now, we're probably about 10 grand in the hole to get you NAM coverage. So the other thing is, camera of this size, um, 
it does weigh about four kilo. Now the batteries, you won't believe this. How much do you think one of these is? 360 bucks, freaking Canon is insane. I bought four because I need, <laughs> I need batteries. So yeah, right there. That's almost as much as the freaking Strymon pedal, um, but they should last a good amount of time. So I'll be able to carry this around, but you don't put this on a little tripod. You don't. It's worth quite a bit of money and you need something stable also to move around. So I actually bought two tripods. One that I really got on a, for, for a great sale, and it's a good tripod, and I wanted something out of carbon with a good fluid head, but then I had an amazing deal on this, and I was like, I need to get this. Um, I can get it into my luggage, luckily, but this is, we talk about luggage in a sec, this is the Sachtler uh, Flotec uh, with the, uh, what's it called, the uh, Ax, the Ace XL fluid head, um, it's one of the cheaper heads, but it's extremely nice. Um, so we'll be able to actually, you know, it'll bounce back. You can actually probably set this up where it stays exactly where it needs to be right there. This is nice, nice stuff. You can open this completely and it'll swivel around or make it, you know, tougher so that you have really nice and smooth pans. So when you see the stuff that Harry's gonna shoot and he's gonna zoom in with the nice wibbly wobbly wibby here, um, it's because we're on a very nice tripod. Now the important thing is, lock it, lock it, and how do you adjust this? And that's why the flow tech is amazing. It's about uh, 3.8 kilos for a, a tripod of this size, but check this out, I'm gonna go off the carpet here. I need speed at NAM. We can't go do the tripod loosening in the tri you know, I need to go to a booth, bam, shoot the next video. And so what you do is, you loosen these, and you're done. So this is, they have magnets at the bottom, done. And we can actually, I mean, we're gonna take this apart because this is too heavy. But you could, if you wanted to, you know, carry it like this or put it on your shoulder, which isn't, oops, wait, which isn't too bad because it's uh, relatively wide, but you don't want to do this for too long because it's heavy. So we're going to split it up um, and then it'll be this. With a handle, very nice. So we get to a booth. And you can literally go so. oh. Okay, that's about the height I want Good You clip that in You have this little bubble here So even when it's dark It lights up So I loosen it at the bottom here I Loosen it at the bottom Now I can completely move it around bubbled and I'm done so yeah uh, extremely nice but it comes at a cost because <laughs> the flow tech is not inexpensive uh, which brings us to the last point of what I'm taking to Nam I have to take it to Nam so this will fit into my luggage but then it's already eating up a quarter of the allotted weight and a lot of the space the camera I was gonna point at this no this uh, a, all the batteries need to be, all the loose batteries need to be in hand luggage because you're not allowed to put it in your uh, check bag. And this I don't want to put in my check baggage. So I need a travel, uh, a carry-on sized bag that this fits in. And I found one, which wasn't easy. It's a brand new uh, Manfrotto bag. By the way, none of these companies are paying me for shit. Sennheiser is part of this, which is way cool. So this is totally carry-on and it's rolly on, which is very important because otherwise it's going to kill my back just being in the airport. But after taking the camera apart as much as I can, lens hood and all that stuff, it should fit in right here. But that's, as you can see, pretty much taking up all the space. And then I have the batteries in here. 
And yep, these uh, damn things cost money. Then I still need all the chargers, all the wireless mics, the iridium, all that stuff, which I'm thinking I'll put in my checked bag. Uh, and then we talk about the last thing. Space, or spice, as they say somewhere. That's a lot of memory cards. I've got four 512s, uh, two 256s, 128s, and four 64s. One set of 512s, remember I need two because I'm doing a uh, backup recording, should be about 10 hours of video. And I don't know how much I'm filming, but 10 hours sounds to me like maybe, maybe two days, maybe. So I'm taking all of these. You can, of course, do it with much, much, much less gear, which must much less low end gear. And many of us do, and I have done it, and it's totally fine. This doesn't make the NAM videos better videos. It's what happens in the videos and the gear and the people. That's what matters. For me, it's always a challenge. I take it as a personal challenge to go there and come home with stuff where I say, oh, wow, this actually does sound good. And wow, look at the sharpness. And I can actually, you know, see. For me, it's a personal thing. I love to see that I'm doing better. I want to improve what I do. That's freaking ridiculous. In addition to all of this, I need a cameraman. What Leslie's doing right now, I can put that camera into many people's hands. This, I mean, I, I can't just, you know, tell someone, oh, by the way, this is, uh, this is what all this is doing, go. Harry is the right guy for it. Um, Dave is also going to help us, and Sophia is also going to be part of the team. So I'm going to be running around with many people this year. I want to thank you for watching them. I hope that maybe because of this video, you appreciate our efforts a little bit more. NAM is a huge undertaking for many of us. For me this year, it's, it's huger. But I hope I come home with stuff where I say, that was worth the, I don't even want to know how much money I spent, so that you have kick-ass videos. And hopefully some, you know, good sounds and good visuals, even though I'm still in front of the camera. Thanks, Leslie, for holding this heavy thing. If you had to hold this, you probably would have thrown it at me already. Uh, thanks to the dogs for being, you know, dickheads. And um, more other differently animals at the end. Oh, thanks to Sennheiser, uh, one of the brands, uh, and Strymon as well, and Palmer, three brands that were represented in this video. Thanks to Strymon for sending the Iridium. I hope it's going to do well. Uh, the Palmer is absolutely going to power what I need it, need it powered. And without Sennheiser, none of this would be, would be possible. I looked at many options. It's the only company I trust to work at NAM. I've tried many. The AVX system is the only system that I know is going to perform the way that I need it to perform. So thank you, Sennheiser, for supporting the trip. Uh, it's, it's, it absolutely, absolutely means the world to me. And now, animals at the end. Time flying by Thoughts are trapped inside a black hole No sleep tonight Rest till everything is sat in stone So I won't stop trying Till the sun goes up My body's tired But my mind won't stop I won't Till I've reached the top